All right, here we go. We're starting, we're getting ready to rock and roll and we're going to clear out anything that we need to clear out. Before we do that, I wanna take you through the process I want to take you through the process so you know how to do it because you can do this on yourself, right? So this is timeline therapy. Like I said in the video uh, before, if you've got a timeline, this is where you started and this is where you are now, then you've got a series of events between now and then. And some of those events have been negatively charged. Now, if you've got a negative emotion charged on one of those events, it's consuming, consuming energy in your body. Not only that, but it's also restricting what it is that you are doing now because of living beliefs, and decisions. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is we're going to elicit and find your timeline. Everyone has a timeline in their body. What is a timeline, Luke? A timeline is something that you store time and your experiences in. So if I said to you, when you think of your past, what direction does it come from? Point to it. You might point behind your shoulder, you might point to your right, you might point to your left, you might point to your right, you might point diagonally. No matter where it is, that's totally cool. But what I want you to do now is close your eyes down and I want you now to see it, hear it, feel it, or you could even imagine it. And whereabouts is your past? Write that down, draw it down on a piece of paper or just note where it is in your you know, day-to-day reality. Come back to the here and now. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to get you to do is what I want you to do now is think of your future and decide which direction your future is in. So for me, it's straight ahead. For you, it could be straight ahead, could be to the right, could be anywhere, right? But what you'll do is you'll end up with a past and you'll end up with a future. Okay, great. So what I want you to do now is close your eyes down and I want you to see it, hear it, feel it, or you could even imagine it. And this is the stage where you just need to follow my instructions exactly. What I want you to do now is just float above your timeline. Float above now. All right, see it, hear it, feel it, or you could even imagine it. And I want you to see, hear, or feel, or imagine where your timeline's going from the past and also where it's going into the future. And what I want you to do is I want you to turn and face the past. And I want you to go back. I want your unconscious mind to take you back to a happy and memorable moment. Okay, good. Could be any memorable moment that you like, as long as it's happy and memorable. And what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that you're actually floating above that event, looking down on the event. See it, hear it, feel it, or you could even imagine it. And what I want you to do now is float down into the event. So you're reliving it right now. See it through your own eyes. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, good. Come back up above that event and arch your unconscious mind to bring you back to the here and now. Okay, great. What I want you to do now is open your eyes and come back to the here and now. Okay, good job. So, you just elicited your timeline. You know exactly where it is. But here is the key. Here is the key. The learning and the lesson that you get is what blows out the negative emotion. All right, so let's just say that, you know, using our money situation, let's just say that you felt really like ashamed around an event that happened with money. Okay, so what would happen is you go back to that event, all right, you go back to that event, you float above the event, and you arch your unconscious mind, what is it that I need to learn at the unconscious level in order to let go of the emotion easily and effortlessly? Your unconscious mind can preserve the learning so that if it needs them there in the future, they will always be there. And then you just wanna get the learning. They're gonna be positive for you. What's a positive learning? Well, positive learning would be like, I am good enough. I am amazing. I am love. I can have money. I accept money. It's going to be positive for you. And what you want to do is you just want to keep asking your unconscious mind, what's the lesson? Keep learning the lesson until the negative emotion is gone. All right? Now that the negative emotion is gone, you're going to go before the event. And you're going to ask your unconscious mind, now where is the emotion? Is it there or is it gone? And if you've got enough learnings and lessons, then you will be like, oh, the emotion's gone, it's blown out. Okay, good. 
If the emotion is still there or a little bit there, then what you'll do is you just go back above the event and you'll ask your unconscious mind what else is there to learn about this event in order to let go of the negative emotions easily and effortlessly now. And you'll come up with some more learnings, then you'll go back to here and you'll ask your unconscious mind where is the negative emotion now and it'll be gone. Now when the negative emotion is gone, you float down into the event. You float down into the event, right? You ask your unconscious mind where is the negative emotion? Well, it's either there or it's gone. Same thing, if it's there, then you have gotta get more learnings. If it's gone, then that's great. When it's gone, you float back above now and you come back to the here and now, allowing your unconscious mind to release any negative emotions on all the events all the way back to now. Okay, I know that's a lot to take in, but I'm teaching you, I want you to understand this. So what does it look like? I'll take you through a run down of what I would do in my mind. Let's just say I have negative emotion from the past. I would go into my unconscious mind and I'd go back to the event. I'd go back to the event, I've got my, my eyes closed, I see it, hear it, feel it, I couldn't even imagine it, and I get to the event. I'm floating above the event. And I ask my unconscious mind, what is there to learn from this event, the learnings of which will allow me to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. And then I get as many learnings. I'm powerful, I'm this, I'm that, money is great, I love money. It's easy to lose weight, I'm, you know, whatever. Then I go to here, before the event, and I ask myself, where is the emotion now? Is it there or is it gone? I'll be like, no, it's gone, okay, good. Float down inside the event. Okay, good. Is the emotion there or is it gone? No, it's gone, okay, great. Float above now, come back to the here and now, and as I come back to the here and now, I'm gonna let go of all the negative emotions from now, or from then, all the way back to now. And when I come back to now, I'm gonna open my eyes. Okay, good. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through the process because I want you to get experience of doing it for yourself. Ready? Okay, great. Close your eyes down. What I want you to do is I want you to pick a uh, event, something that you need or want to clean up. And I want your unconscious mind to take you back to the first event. So float above your timeline now, go back all the way into the past and float above the first event. See it, hear it, feel it, you could even imagine it. Okay, great. Now that you're floating above the event, I want you to ask your unconscious mind, what is there to learn from this event that allow you to let go of the negative emotion easily and effortlessly now? Your unconscious mind can preserve the learning, so if you need them there in the future, they will be there. Get as many learnings as you can. That's right, so you get as many learnings as you can. Keep going, keep going, as many learning as you can. Great, what I want you to do now is go well before that event. And ask your unconscious mind, where is the emotion now? Is it there or is it gone? If it is gone, then that is great. If it is there, then all you have to do is go back above the event and get some more learnings. Now that it's gone, float down inside the event, see it, feel it, hear it, exactly how you were living it. And ask your unconscious mind, where is the emotion? Is it there or is it gone? If the emotion is gone, then that's great. If it's there, then you just need to get more learnings. Now that the emotion is fully gone, float back up above that event and come back to the here and now. As you come back to the here and now, allow your unconscious mind to let go of any of the negative emotion that happened on the events between then and now, reevaluating themselves, themselves in light of your new learnings. Okay, good. Come back to the here and now, open your eyes. So there you go. That's like the... Um, Timeline therapy in releasing your negative emotions in a nutshell. So you may have to do that little piece a number of times because you can only do one negative emotion at a time. You start on anger, sadness, fear, hurt, and then guilt. And you go back through on every event on anything that you want to clear out. That's how you do it. The beauty of it is, is once you know how to do it, which now you do, you just need to go back and do it, you can do it on anything. You know, literally anything. So in the, uh, in the sessions below, I've, got, um, I've worked out a way in how to release these negative emotions and take you through the process in 
a state of deep relaxation where your unconscious mind can do it for you. But I just wanted to take you through that so you know and you understand on how you can do it yourself. At the end of the day, in order to release a negative emotion, what you need to do is go back to the event. Float above the event, get the learnings. As soon as you get the learnings, the negative emotions will go. Then you can go back to the here and now, and you can come back to the here and now, and your unconscious mind will change it from a stop sign into a green light. That's how it works. So I really do hope that that helps you out. I know that's a fair bit to take on board, but guess what? You can go back and you can learn it. You can do this 100 times. The good thing is, is you've got it, all right? So now I'm going to take you through two two of my most powerful hypnotherapy sessions that I've created today. They're just below. What you want to do is put your headphones in, sit down in somewhere where you are not going to be disturbed and just go through the process. It will allow you to have the breakthroughs that you need and that you want. I really, 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 really am so pumped for you right now because this is where the rubber meets the road. This is the breakthrough experience. So jump on, do your sessions, and then come back to the next phase. 